Hi guys, so I hope you had a fabulous Christmas and New Year. I did, but I just can't stop eating. I have eaten like a chuffing pig, but I just can't stop and I won't stop for anyone, I tell you. <laughs> I feel like I am actually gonna turn into one of these Lindell chocolates, but they are like a little bit of heaven. Mmm. Tell you what, it just does it for me. Absolutely does it for me. But Right there, right there guys. Mmm, let me just enjoy it. <laughs> I eat like a pig as well. I'm not the most attractive eater. Um, but yeah, so, I've got this Prosecco. But I'll tell you what, I'm not gonna open it because I'm new year, new me, new start. <laughs> So you know, as I'm being a new me and it's going to be a new start, I need to throw these chuffy lindles right away, out of my sight, forever, get away, I need to be sexy, and you're not making me sexy. So as it's a new year, new start, I thought I would start my new tutorial with a hair tutorial because you're always asking me how I get my hair so big, sexy and bouncy. So now you will see, and also I'm just going to do like a naturally day-to-day -day makeup. Um, and yeah, so I think we're going to have fun today guys, we're going to have fun. Over the festive period, I've got three chins, so just, you know, bear with them. One's called Bob, one's called Belinda, and one's called Bobby. So yeah, I'm having a great time with them three. Three musketeers, three fat musketeers. <laughs> Anyway, let's get cracking with putting my rollers in. So you get a tail comb like this, and you get a glass of water like this. Oh, bloody brushes are fell. It's not the steadiest table in the world. So this cup of water is like a magic, magic cup of water. And it's just amazing because what you do is you put it on the tips of your hair like, like this. So you get a little bit like this. And what you do is you put a bit of water at the end. Oh, don't drown yourself. <laughs> and these rollers are called Diva rollers. They are amazing and they're perfectly suited to me, aren't they? Diva licious. So yeah, what I'm doing with this one, this is the most important roller of your hair because this is your fringe. So I put it with a fork like this, it's like it's not a fork, but it's like it looks like a fork. And you get this with the diva roller set. So you pop it in there. There we go. That's nice. If you put a clip like that in the front bit of your fringe, it just makes it all minging and like crinkled and kinky. You don't want that kind of kink in the fringe. <laughs> so let me just show you the divas. These are my life and soul, my lifesavers, just absolutely my world in general. Um, they're amazing, they're very heated, as you might be able to see, I'm sweating <laughs> in my Monsters Inc. onesie from Prime Arnie. Cheap and cheerful, yet again. Get onto them because it's a nice colour as well, isn't it? It just makes you look fab. So now onto the next bit of the rulers. And this bit is also the most important bit because your top bits of your layers, you just want to like flow naturally. Let's get that water on the end. Now I'm on to, I'm gonna use, um, Another pink roller. Good on like that. Stretching. It's like a good morning stretch, this. Oh, I feel like I'm in Dubai when I put these rollers in. Does anyone else get Sula's like a sweaty upper lip alert? Like a proper bad. I always get Sula's made in the heat. Not very attractive, is it? So that is the top layers done. See, there, easy as that, girls. Now on to the side bits. Get a little bit of a back comb there. But I 
I've got a surprise for you all later. Someone special is going to come back home hair. Ooh, who could it be? And I'm using a purple roller for the side bit because it makes it more curlier. And if people's hair are like really straight and really thin, the purple rollers are the best to use. Just use the pink bits if you don't want it to be too curly. And now I'm going to use an even smaller roller for this bit. An orange one. Like my favourite eyeshadow. So now I'm onto this bit of the hair. And honestly, girls, I literally leave these rollers in for half an hour. You do not need to leave them in any longer, especially using the water trick. Shh. No one's meant to know that. Tracy's going to kill me. Tracy's on one, by the way. And she is a fabulous scouse hairdresser. So that's why my hair is always so big. It's just full of secrets. Full of chopping secrets. <laughs> so I'm back on to using the pink roller for that. So I want that to be a nice big curl. If your hair is, oh bloody hell. I literally feel like there's a ghost. It's just my arm. Um, but yeah, it's not even my dad. No less. <laughs> You come and see my hair tutorial. Um, but yeah, what I was going to say, um, my hair is so thick. Obviously, I have got extensions in, but my hair is actually thick in general. Um, so if your hair is as thick as mine, girls, literally, you need these in for about 10 minutes. But obviously, oh, sorry. <laughs> it's obviously best to keep them in as long as possible. So it's like, sticks forever. Now I'm onto the back bit of my hair. Here. Here. It's funny, isn't it? You can't really see. You, need, you really need a, a mirror at the back of your hair so you can see. I can just about see. Is anyone else's hair really, really naturally curly? Mine is so curly. I'm trying not to eat my crust, you know, so it don't go any more curlier on my bread <laughs> because I'm literally like a curly tart that also helps obviously with um, rollers if your hair is naturally curly but with this little trick you're in there your hair's going to be big bouncy and curly darling oh my god I feel like I'm in Cancun now Now I'm on to the last roller of the hair. There is so much hair, man. Literally so much. The divas are in. Settled. <laughs> the divalicious rollers. You can get them from Boots or Sally's, you know, like wholesalers, salon services. So now my next tutorial for the video is like a natural day-to-day -day makeup. If I can be bothered, which is probably never. But like, you know, if you're going out, if you're going to like for a nice Sunday roast, like today, or if you're going to like watch your boyfriend play rugby, which I'm doing today, um, if you're going, you know, if you're just gonna go like shopping, you know, just going anywhere, this is the perfect go-to-go day-to-day look. So let's start. So a lot of you love me without makeup, so I thought this would be perfect, you know, because I'm doing a natural makeup. So now I'm going to start off with the eyes, and I'm actually not putting any eyeshadow on today, girls, for once in my life. So this is um, a primer for the eyes, and it's just called Painterly from MAC. It's a paint pot. I'm just going to use it with a Real Technique flat brush. It's just like, just to literally, you know, you've been asleep all night. You just want to freshen up the eyes a little bit. It's just perfect for it. Because I'm not putting any eyeshadow on. 
obviously when you're putting shadow on, like I've said in my other videos, this is the primer that you put on to set the eyeshadow and it doesn't move for days. And now I'm going to prime my face with Prep and Prime and this is Skin Base Wizard which is from MAC and I just use my fingers because I just get it on there, do you know what I mean? I'm doing a skincare ritual for my next tutorial, so you have to watch out for that guys because a couple of you have asked me to do one, so I'm going to do one next time. So now I'm on to Prep and Prime Pen, which is Light Boost, also from MAC, and I'm using a Bubel brush, this is to get rid of those bags. of those party bags. Right, I actually don't like wearing foundation in the daytime because I feel like I don't want to look too thick and like, you know, like I've got too much makeup on. And especially because I'm going to watch my, oh, my boyfriend play rugby today, you know, I don't want to be like standing out like a sore, like Mac Studio Fix bomb. So yeah, I am using two sticks here which I've used in my videos before my absolute love of my life which is my benefit play stick tea party colour and this is my caramel colour Tom Ford stick this is amazing they're like, in fact they are foundation sticks but they're not just they're just nicer on your skin I feel and they do make you look hairbrushed as well without looking too thick I'm still putting a lot on as you can see but it doesn't just, I just prefer it than the actual liquid foundation. And they're like two different colours, so you like putting a bit of brown and a bit of petal. Gone. <laughs> so now I'm using a Sephora brush just to blend that in, my favourite word, blend. just got a spot overnight and I'm going to call it Carol. Carol needs to chuff off. She's a chuffing elf, chuff off. So what do you all think about me doing my own eyelash and like lipsticks and eyeshadow ranges? Let me know, put your comments on the video. <laughs> so I think I'm going to do it. Oh bloody time isn't it? <laughs> Now I am using Dark Tan Bronzer from MAC with a Bubel brush just to bronze my face. Now I'm going to do like a light contour, not a heavy contour as it's daytime. And I'm going to use it with a Dark Tan Bronzer. I'm just going to, the excess product, just whack it on your wrist. And this is with a Ruby Cosmetics contour brush. With, you get you get this brush with my contour palette. That's what you do. Check it out with your brush. I'm just gonna go underneath the contour with the love of my life, the Benefit Play Stick, Tea Party Colour. Benefit have said that they're discontinuing this. I bloody hope not. Going over that with a Sephora brush. I'm going back over the contour, just with a few bell brush, just blending it all in. I'm going to go over that with the translucent Prep and Prime powder from MAC. If you've got oily skin like myself that you can fry chips on, this is perfect for. Now on to a bit of blush because you want a bit of colour in your cheeks. This is Peaches Blusher from MAC. Use the Real Technique brush. Just on your little cheeks there. Give you a little bit on your nose. Make sure you look healthy. Because my spot Carol keeps popping out, I just keep putting the love of my life on Carol. I can't be rocking that to the rugby pitch, can I? Now on to the highlighter. You put the highlighter on your cheekbones, you know, and your cupid's bow. And this is NARS Copacabana. 
This is like the start of my highlight process, what I say in all my vids. I want a B-Bell brush and I'm using Vanilla Pigment from MAC. That very good. Just put a little bit on there, not too much. Don't look too, too highlighted. Now on to a Real Technique brush and I'm using a Peaches and Cream Halo Highlighter. Now I'm going to use mascara, and this is just a Rimmel one. This is always my favourite one, ever since I was at school. I'm doing this with just a disposable brush. There's no need for me to put eyelashes on because I've had brushing eyelashes on. Done, darling, I mean. Um, by Denise Stone in Blackpool. She is the bomb. Now I'm on to the brows and I'm using a 263 angled brush from MAC and I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Chocolate Colour <laughs> and I start off very lightly like proper concentrated face How funny is it? Some of our eyebrows are full blown cousins, aren't they? Not sisters. Not twin sisters. I'm not lying about today. I think they're, I think they're relatives. <laughs> See, it's all about the brows and the lips. And we've got no eyes on. So now I'm just going to go underneath the brow bone with NC15 from MAC. It's like a foundation part with a Real Technique angled brush just to make it pop. So now I'm using Spice Lip Liner spicing up real life. I always overdraw my lips even though they aren't big. I'm going to use Velvet Teddy from MAC. Now I'm using a retro matte, and it's a matte lipstick from MAC. <laughs> so many M's. It's like a peachy. Mmm, I love it. And it's matte as well, so it stays for days. Now I'm just gonna go underneath the eyes with PF135 from Illinaska with a real technique brush. Make sure those bags are not to be seen. So now this is the finished look of my like casual day-to-day -day makeup, if I can be bothered. So yeah, this is it, and I hope you like it. It's not too much, um, and I like this kind of makeup. I think it looks good. Um, it's all about the brows, the lips, a bit of highlight, a bit of contour, and now I'm gonna get my hair out. But first, I'm gonna go and get changed. I need to get ready. So, this is a special guest that's doing my hair. She's done it since I was a little mother. And it's my mother. Say hi, Trace. Hi, everybody. Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I get all my, uh, what do I get from Inspiration. Inspiration for from, yeah. Hair. Inspiration, I get everything from her. She's my little... I've done her hair sister. since she was a little baba. And um, she's got an amazing head of hair. Uh, a hairdresser's dream. Hairdresser's dream. I'm not your dream though sometimes, I'm a trade. Yeah. Oh, oh. Well. Big me up then, go on. <laughs> Don't really have to tell the truth. Oh, no. That's why I've got grey hair. Not today. Oh, <laughs> Trace, you've not got grey hair. You're sexy. Am I? Yeah. That's nice, you've made my day. <laughs> I love your hair this How amazing. it's amazing. I know, I love it. Amazing. Ginger spice it. My way. Nice for autumn and winter and, yeah. well, just beautiful. I know, I'm loving it. It's new me, new you. You know, you have stuff. three heads of hair in one, this. I know. Just amazing. I know. So what are we doing today? What we, I want to, I want to back, because everyone's asking me how we're going to get it so big and bouncy. Yeah. So you are, you know, the woman behind it is I am. this one. I know. So. And I love 
I love it because I was trained in Liverpool. She's at a scalp stream, I said before, isn't she? Scalp stream. I was trained in Liverpool under the masters of Bat County. You are from Liverpool, aren't you, Trey? I am. Born and bred. Scouse. Very proud I'm of half Scouse. God's country. I'm half Scouse, that's why I'm so glam. Well, half Mancunian, but I think you're more Scouse than Mancunian. Oh, right, we're even. raring to go. Oh, so how would you like it going I think back? I want it. Do you want to want this style? Do you want a Hollywood style? Or oh, we are. I want a Hollywood style, darling. And what are you going to do anywhere else? I'm going to watch my boyfriend play oh, rugby. Right. And Jolly. I think you're all coming, aren't you? Oh, that's nice. I've never been invited. Yeah. Right, I'm what you do out. when you're back home, you just take... Um, should we turn around to show people? Yeah. You just take a small section. And I think it's all about the technique, really. Make sure you comb the hair through. Oh, that's that new. Turn around. All right, you take the hair forward, can you see? And actually you don't back home anywhere up there. That's the mistake a lot of hairdressers yeah. make and people. I don't trust You're, anyone back home in the air apart from my mother. You just back home here, just the root here. Can you see, ladies? And gents. <laughs> <laughs> and two gents as well. <laughs> uh, and then all it is, if you can see, just a little bit there. And then I usually use this dusting powder just very to powder. keep, yeah, it's very powder, just to put a little bit in the root there. And that actually, what was it doing today? that holds it up <laughs> and keeps the back combing in. If you can see that now, look at that. How yeah. amazing is that? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't jolt me. So if you, if you're doing a down do or an up do, this is how you do it. So you just take small sections, back home just here. Turn around straight out. She's a fidgeter. That's one I thing am I have. a fidgeter. And then you just put the fairy dust here. Yeah, and then you just rub it with your nails. You're very glam, aren't you, Trey? Right. So see, ladies, so yeah. we've got two sections there, and that you lift, and that actually stays in all day. We'll have to do a hair up tutorial. Yeah, we? I think, I, lo I love doing Audrey Hepburn and Stars, and French pleats, and very glam. French pleats, French pleats. French pleats, you know, French like the Audrey Hepburn. <laughs> Like it, you know, like you uh, sweep yeah. it round and then take it to one side. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so how many more do, do people? <laughs> so do do people want to see more of Trace? I reckon so. So see, ladies. How amazing is that? So we've got that, and then if you want to do the pleat or the hair up, you can just swish it round. Bring all of this round. She's got amazing hair. And then we pleat it up like that. But I'll do some more for you, but um, not, we've not got time today. Busy, aren't we? Yeah. How do you like that? Go out like that. No one. I can't go out like that. But do you like it? Yeah, I love the, the, the it. Lift. I love the lift. So yeah. would you like me to? Yeah, just finish it up. Yeah, I'll just dress it out. Okay. So I'll go back this way. Yep. Thank you. Don't like Cheryl just... Cole, we had a lot. She is amazing, Cheryl Cole. Oh, She's done she... so much for us hairdressers. Yeah. Um, if you've not got big hair, what's the point? Mm. Very boring, isn't it? Just to be flat and yeah. not and straight. And, mm. You can't sit with us if you've got flat hair. You see, ladies, I still do the back comb just at the root. Yeah. So I'm not touching the ends because that's what a lot of people tend to do. They tend to start from the top and wear it down and that's not a trick. It's just at the root. And I like it the way Charlotte has this flick at the side. It's mm -hmm. very Hollywood. Very Shame Hollywood. I don't live in Hollywood. Shame I live in Blackpool. But let's yeah, just pretend it's, it's nice. Hollywood. I'm a little bit of Hollywood in black pearl, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I'm working behind here because I haven't got the moon in front of me. Do you want the mirror? No, no, no. It's looking good. So you see ladies how that, see the back home in fabulous. Abby. You wonder where I get the word fabulous so. from. <laughs> I'm just doing this little look to you. I'll just show you guys. Nice. So we just back home in there. Thank you. Nowhere near the end, so you're not splitting with any ends of hair. Just put the yeah. say no to split ends. The dusting powder in. Yeah, the dusting. And the fabulous lashes, Charlotte. Oh yeah. Because that's definitely worth it. And this will stay in all day, won't it, mm -hmm. for you? And then you're going to be outside watching the rugby. Yeah. I can't believe you made that statement today. Do you not play rugby if it rains? I'm not glad you God knows. How funny. Anyway, what do you think of that? Not a shot. I can't. Yeah, it looks bad. Looks, looks good. Absolutely belting. So, I hope you all enjoyed me and Trace and the hair and the day-to-day -day makeup tutorial. We love you, don't we, we Trey? We really do. We really love you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Charlotte Do I have some Makeup. Now we're gonna have a look into my wardrobe. So this is my day-to-day -day casual, casual look. I know it's still a bit glam, um, but you know, this is just who I am and what I am. But you know, there's this jacket, this leather jacket, it's from JYY London, and you can find them on my Instagram or like on Insta. Um, JYY London, go get onto them. Rawr! <laughs> tiger, just look at that tiger. And this fabulous velvet catsuit just goes with everything. So I've got two more jackets that I would put together with this outfit. This is from Hot Mess Clothing, and it's amazing. This choke is also from Pretty Little Thing, if you like a bit of choke. Uh. <laughs> This is my second jacket and second option for this outfit. You can just literally put anything with this outfit, I love it. That's why it's my, you know, day to day. And this is from Topshop. I love it. It's just amazing. And this is the third option that I would go for with this outfit. And it's not real fur, so don't hate me. And I wouldn't wear real fur. So this is faux fur. And it's from um, House of CB, and it keeps you warm, and I love it. Toasty, it keeps you very toasty, but very glam at the same time. So I hope you all enjoyed my wardrobe viewing for today. Not malfunction, no, no. So yeah, and I was basically just showing you that you can throw anything with this outfit, any sort of amazing jacket. So I hope you've all enjoyed it and, you know, thinking about getting this outfit because I want to be a style icon. <laughs> but anyway, um, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to watch my last video, the winter look. So anyway, have a fabulous new week tomorrow. New year, new me, new week, new start. Bye. <laughs>